Hello again, booktube. Idina Reads here, and today we're going to be talking about this book, The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Uh, it took me a while to actually get into this book, but I feel like it's not the book's fault. Um, I had just finished reading like Cinder and then Scarlet, um, and so I was all like in this whole other world that was kind of a little quicker moving, I guess. And so when I started reading this one, um, I was like, whoa, whoa, where's the action? <laughs> so it is more of a John Green-esque book without being as good as a John Green book. So basically the premise is there's this golden boy named Ezra and he is a star tennis player and one of the most popular kids in school um, and basically there's this party and his girlfriend cheats on him at the party and he like storms out and he gets in his car and then boom like he gets hit by like, another car and basically is seriously seriously injured and he can no longer play tennis. Ezra is I, I would say immediately likable as a character because he, you know he he seems like this real teenage boy um, and his emotions seem valid because of what happened to him. An old friend of his who <laughs> kind of had a seriously traumatic thing happen to him when he was 12, which sort of, you know, is the reason why, like, the two friends kind of faded apart. Toby, on his 12th birthday, they were at the back of Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland, and a boy kind of sitting up ahead stands up in the ride, gets decapitated, and Toby catches the head and, like, is so much in shock that he like can't put it down and just like imagine how traumatic this is but then so that's how the book starts by the way is like this flashback so here's kind of an example of like sort of the funniness the dry humor in which this is written um let's see we were still friendly enough and occasionally chatted online but our friendship had somehow been decapitated that summer like the kid who'd sat in front of us on that fateful roller coaster there was no weight on my shoulders. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the plot, I guess. Um, a, there's a new girl named Cassidy Thorpe, and she's a little weird, and um, Toby's on the debate team, and he goes like, Ezra, you should be on the debate team. Cassidy is like this great debater, master debater, as they often make this joke, as haha, masturbation is funny, haha, <laughs> grow up people. And Ezra falls in love with Cassidy, but Toby's like, dude, you know, she's sort of like a little messed up. So he kind of joins the nerd crowd or whatever, um, and he really enjoys hanging out with them. He feels like he's shedding these fake layers that he had when he was the golden boy, the popular kid, or whatever. Um, and he's starting to actually like himself more, and he's attributing all of this to the new girl, Cassidy, who's basically pulling him out of his little popular shell, or whatever. It has a little something for everyone. It's got a ton of references to a ton of random things. So like, as you're reading it, you feel like some of them are almost forced references. Like, hey, let's make this as relatable as possible. I did enjoy it once I got past the whole point that this was not going to be in action, which I knew that already, but you know how you have like book hangovers? Like, I had a book hangover before reading this. It ends in a sort of aura of reality. Like, okay, I can accept this ending. It is not setting an impossible standard or what I imagine my life to be, or what a high schooler might imagine their life to, lives to be. If you enjoy books that are similar to John Green novels and you just want to kind of take a break from John Green novels, then this is a good read for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next book review. Toodaloo!